Hello, hello, and welcome. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. I am going to show you what we sold over Christmas weekend. We have $575 going out over on eBay, 25 on Mercari, so not much over on Mercari, but we have $175 going out on Poshmark. We have one really, really good sale on Poshmark, and then we have two sales on Etsy, so I'm gonna show you them all right now. slow I think it's a combination of it's Christmas week along with the fact that I have not been putting much time into eBay for a couple of months so sales have consistently been downtrending however I've seen quite a few people that their sales are doing very well so I think it's just a combination for me of it being Christmas week and me not putting time in but Lent is starting today, so hopefully eBay will start picking back up. And we also have had our whatnot sales. And a lot of people have asked me why I'm not showing what sells on whatnot. The reason is because we sell 100 items per show, which is about 400 a week. And that's a lot. It would be a really long video. And the whatnot sales, the prices I get are inconsistent. So I don't know that you could really learn anything from that because it's not comparable to selling on any other platform and it wouldn't even be comparable to another seller because it really depends on how many people are watching you so let me show you first on ebay we sold this little harley davidson pin if you remember i paid a dollar for these this one sold for 12.98 took about six months so this one's going to be about a nine dollar profit up next is a book this is James Herio, the best of. This one sold for $6.48. This one will ship media mail. The buyer did pay. I paid about a dollar for this. So this one's about a $4 profit. And this one sold in about five months. Next is a DVD. So this is a Chicago DVD. Sold for $4.50. This one's about a $3 profit and it took over a year to sell. So with the DVDs, I bought about three to 400 of them. A lot of them sold really fast, but we still have a lot that are on the shelves. And I don't, I don't think I would make a bulk DVD collection purchase again because of that. Most of these are two, three, four dollar profit. And we did find a few that were 40, 50 and higher, but the work that was put into it, I don't think was worth it. So as far as the DVDs, I think I will just hand pick and hand select if I pick up media in the future. All right, up next is a vintage FSU hat. This is a corduroy. This one I paid a dollar. It is mesh back. It sold for 15 in about six months. So this one's gonna be about 11 to $12 profit. Corduroy hats can be really good, especially in vintage. Um, I would pick up almost all the corduroy hats that you see because they can be really good profits. Next are some tiny mittens. They sold after Christmas. Christmas sells year round. Do not all of a sudden stop listing your Christmas because Christmas is now over because you will still get those sales. So these are little hand crocheted mittens. They are a little ornament and these sold for $9.73. I only paid about 50 cents. So these are about an $8 profit and they sold in about four months and they sold on the 26th. They sold the day after Christmas. So that's as far away from Christmas as you could possibly get. And then we sold these Barbie stands. This one is Happy Holidays. And then I had the Irish Barbie. The two stands I paid about a dollar for. They sold for $13.98. So they're going to be about a $10 profit. And they took about six months to sell. All right. Up next is a ceramic pitcher. This one is a little miniature, three and a half inch. I paid about a dollar. This one took over a year to sell, really long time. Sold for $10.50, so it's about a seven to eight dollar profit. And there is the bottom. I thought it would sell faster with the original sticker, but unfortunately it didn't. Luckily it is small, so shipping will not be too hard on this one. Next is a shirt we have had over two years. This is Attitudes by Renee. It's the scoop shoulder. This was on a palette when I was back buying palettes 
from QVC and a lot of the stuff sold really fast but a lot of it did not. We still have quite a bit of it left and this one sold for a whole three three dollars three dollars and sixty three cents. It's about a two dollar profit and took forever to sell. So when you buy pallets you will get a mix of stuff that will sell fast, stuff that will take a while and I think I should have been a little more disciplined and maybe gave those away or sold them bulk rather than holding on to them for so long. Up next, this is a little enamel pendant. This one sold for five, took over a year. It is KC brand. And this one, I paid less than a dollar. It'll be about a $3.50 profit. Up next are some Ukrainian eggs. I actually only paid a dollar for a whole bunch of these. These are really cool. You can see the chicken there, the flour, and these three sold for $20. So this was a pretty good sale. Sold in about five months, and this one's going to be about a $15 profit. These are plastic. They are not on real eggs. I did get some that were on real eggs, but I listed those separately. Up next is one of the highest sales of the weekend, and that is this really cool daisy chain ruffled tablecloth. Really, really cute tablecloth. This one sold for $69.99, so almost $70 for this vintage tablecloth. It is very, very cute. I only paid about $5 for this, so this one's actually about a $55 profit, and it sold in under three months. So watch for vintage tablecloths because they can bring really, really big money. As long as you keyword them, that one I put daisy chain. It was mid-century modern. It does have the avocado green that everybody loves for that. And it sold pretty fast relatively. Up next is a Harley Davidson shirt. This one is from my friend Charlene. It is from Lexington, Kentucky, and it does say 2006 on it. This one sold for $20.99, and this one I will split the profits with Charlene, so it'll be about $8 for each of us, and it took about four months to sell. All right, up next is a good example of stuff I am not going to pick up anymore if they sell this low. So this one sold for $21, but it, and it's really, really neat beautiful hand painted it is from italy but this one only sold for 16 dollars, and it took over a year to sell so as much as i like it i think next time if i find something like this i will leave it on the shelf i paid five it's going to be about an eight dollar profit and again it took over a year to sell up next are some vintage clip-on earrings these are not branded they are double feathers uh just clip on earrings these sold for eight i paid about two so they're about a four and a half dollar profit and they sold in about four months so with stuff like this this is stuff that i like to sell on whatnot and now does go on whatnot even if i only got four or five dollars i would rather sell it right away versus waiting three or four months to sell so none of my jewelry goes on to ebay anymore all of that does go to whatnot there are a few exceptions i bought a couple of shriner brooches from dawn over at sanford and son on whatnot valued at over a thousand dollars so those will go on ebay because i need a wider market for that versus selling those on whatnot up next is a little royal dalton figurine she is best and i paid about five dollars for her she sold for 21 sold in about six to eight months and she's going to be about a 13 dollar profit all right now i need that patch pink towel what else the bell oh it's right here i'll bring, I'll bring it i normally ring them <coughs> it's probably really loud in their ears <coughs> oh dear jesus up next is another of charlene's items this is a harley owners group hog this is a patch this one sold for 13.99 so it'll be about four and a half dollars each to charlene and myself and it took about four months to sell up next is a vintage tea towel vintage towels sell very very well this one is pink with it looks like grape leaves on it and this one sold for $8 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's about a $6 profit and it sold in about five months. And then a bell. 
This is a really nice brass bell. This one sold for $17.84. I only paid a few dollars for this. So this one's going to be about a $13 profit and it sold in about six months. We've done very, very well with the bells. We have sold quite a few all the way up to, I want to say $60 or $70 for one bell. So watch bells if you see them. Some of the taller and older or antique and kind of schoolhouse style bells can sell very, very well. Up next is a little plush elephant. This is a little, this could be for like a mobile or a little ornament. And this little guy actually sold for $10.49. He is tea tiny. And I paid less than a dollar. So he's about an $8 profit and he sold in about four months. Next is some weights. I actually got these from the same sale I got the bells from. I bought a drawer the contents of a drawer and I got lucky and there were a bunch of these weights in it. This set sold for $34.99. I'm actually less than a dollar in so these are going to be about a $28 profit and you can see it is missing the weight so you do not need them all to be able to sell these. Watch out for these because they do sell good. And then a license plate. This one is a 1938 Pennsylvania tag. This one was a good sale at $34.98. Sold in about three months. And this one's going to be about a $28 profit. Up next is a Chico's necklace. This one actually has a $40... $48 price tag. This one only sold for $15. A really, really pretty Chico's necklace. Chico's makes some pretty good costume jewelry. This one sold for $18 and it's going to be about a $15 profit. I only paid about a dollar for this one. All right, so that was everything for eBay. Now I'm going to show you what sold over on Poshmark, which again is $175 Etsy and Mercari. We do use List Perfectly to cross post. If you haven't tried it and you're making some goals for the new year, cross posting is a good one. We made close to $20,000 last year on the other platforms. We have the highest package from List Perfectly, which is $69.99 a month, but I think it is well worth it. So if you want to to try it for a new year's goal my code is the nurse flipper all one word no spaces and you will get 30 percent pig is yelling at us 30 percent off of your first month over on list perfectly so over on poshmark we sold this eradicate this is some face wash i get this in my boxy charm boxes so i sell what i don't want and then i end up getting what i do want for free this one sold for 15 i only paid about five so this one's about an eight dollar profit and it sold really fast and we sold some vintage hankies over on Poshmark as well. Classic Paris men's handkerchiefs. These sold for $13. I only paid a dollar, so they're going to be about an $8 profit. All right, this is a bad cat decision. Bad. These are from almost three years ago, though. These are T and Sean, and they actually got two of these. There's the bottom. Remember it so you know what not to pick up. Do not get these. These two sold for $5. So two dollar return to us negative and we have to pack two teacups sold over on posh bad buy you're gonna make them throughout your reselling journey i still make them this one was over two years ago but you you live you learn and hopefully you don't make the same mistake again up next is a beautiful i believe this is a ukrainian gown absolutely beautiful look at the bottom trim on this one i only paid a dollar for this in an online high bid lot this one sold for 17 over on poshmark in less than a couple months so it's going to be about a 14 dollar profit some vintage nightgowns can be really really good money that one is not even branded we just put measurements some brands though and i actually i have a video on high dollar nightgowns if you haven't saw it some of them sell for thousands of dollars all right, this is the highest sale of Christmas weekend. This beautiful woven basket, and it does have a few stains. This one sold for $105 over on Poshmark. 105 bucks for a basket on Poshmark. Poshmark has a home section. If you're not listing home goods there, definitely I would start. This one I paid about five, so this one is about a $75 profit. And then we sold a license plate on Poshmark. You can sell almost everything on Poshmark that you can sell on eBay. This Marlins tag actually sold for $28 over on Poshmark. We only paid a dollar, so this one's about a $20 profit. 
then this is a beanie I got at the bin. So I've paid probably a quarter for this. This one sold for five over on Mercari. So it's about a $4 profit. Up next is a really cool bead. Look at this Foo Dog bead. Pretty cool. This single bead sold for $20 over on Mercari. I paid about five. So I did pay up a little bit, but this one will be about a $12 profit. And then our two Etsy sales. This is an Australia tag. This one actually sold for $30 over on Etsy. So it's about a $25 profit. And last on Etsy, cute Louisville stoneware. And it is marked kitty cat little soup mug. This one sold for $35 over on Etsy. And I only paid a couple dollars. So this one's going to be about a $28 profit. All right, so that is everything. Again, I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you have a good new year. My next video will be out on New Year's Day with my goals for 2023. I hope you all had a wonderful year. I hope you hit your goals and are making some new ones for the year. Watch on January 1st. You will see a video of my goals. I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget every Tuesday at 8 p.m. we are live answering your questions. So make sure to bookmark those. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.